In Ridvan Aliyu's laboratory in the city of Jilan, children are learning the ABCs of robotics. They have managed to 3D print the components needed to build and assemble the drone. His initiative first focused on teaching programming, which later evolved into combining knowledge of hardware and software to build different types of robots, eventually leading to practical application in drone technology. Ridvan believes combining drones with artificial intelligence is essential to tackle pressing demands in the economy and security sectors. Training young people in robotics and in building more advanced drones and robots gives Kosovo a great opportunity. What our students manage to achieve in a very short time with limited resources would cost other countries a lot. What started as a youth initiative has blossomed into a success story. Kosovo's first indigenous drone, named Sokoli, is now in development. Several prototypes are already functional, and the final version is expected to be unveiled within a year. But beyond laboratories like this one, where young people are building new devices, Kosovo is facing a far more dangerous reality. In recent weeks, several unauthorized drone incursions have been reported in the country's airspace. Authorities have confirmed multiple cases which are being investigated in collaboration with K4 and international partners. These airspace violations coincide with an initiative from Kosovo's government to develop a domestic defense industry. Prime Minister Albin Kurti recently announced the formation of an interministerial commission to establish a munition factory and a drone design laboratory, underscoring defense as a top priority. The government is also procuring a range of ground and aerial defense systems, with a commitment to allocate more than $1 billion to strengthen the Kosovo security force. Warfare in the world has changed. It is no longer the traditional military conflict. Now it's driven by technology. The drones currently violating Kosovo's airspace are primarily used for surveillance and intelligence gathering. But surveillance drones are often followed by attack drones, which can cause both human and material damage. Drones have become synonymous with both war and peace and economic progress. But can Kosovo guide its next generation away from conflict and toward innovation-driven growth? Ultimately, much will depend in its neighbors too. Omer Sarachi, Pristina.